All right, so for this task, we're going to cover um, some of the networking uh, applications that we covered, and then we'll also talk about um, using some other tools, some analytics tools that are R-based um, to actually analyze the data a little further. So one of the first items that you want to do is bring up your terminal. <clears throat> so I just hit Control-Alt-T. I'm going to um, install Wireshark. So I'm installing Wireshark and uh, Wireshark is already there. Now if Wireshark wasn't there, and I'll show you how that looks. <clears throat> so this is just removing Wireshark. And then I'll do a reinstall so you can see how it looks. All right, so I just remove it. I'm going to install it now. So I'm just pushing up on the cursor. All right, so now Wireshark is installed. What I'm gonna do now is open Wireshark. And I did, okay, good. I thought I spelled it wrong, but I guess it, oh, it spelled it right. You're gonna hit okay. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna search some traffic. Well, not search some traffic, search the site. <clears throat> so I'm gonna bring up this, and I'm going to say, let's see. So now you can see the traffic is showing here. And here is my network interface. I'm going to capture the traffic. <coughs> and as we watch this video. So now we can see traffic being captured. So this is all being captured through uh, Wireshark. If you want to see more details, you can double click. <clears throat> and it'll give you a lot more details about the traffic is captured, interface is on, source and destination, stuff like that. But this right here is a lot of information to go through. So you're like, uh, what do I do with all this information? What is a more, what's a better method to actually view the information um, so that I can uh, maybe pull statistics against what I'm seeing and stuff like that. So what you're going to do is, you're going to stop, you're going to do file, you're going to export packet dissections as a CSV. So I'm going to export this, and network, calling it network umsl. <clears throat> so I'm saving it here. So I'm going to save that particular file here. And one of the next things that you need to do is grab a tool to capture the network traffic and stuff like that. <clears throat> There's no things you can go to. Rapid Miner is one of the best. Uh, however, it is free, which means, well, it's not free as it has limitations, but the free version has limitations. So I'm just gonna go to Rapid Miner Community. Or yeah, Rapid Miner Studio. So I'm gonna go to just remove this community altogether. <clears throat> so this should be, here we got Rabbit Miner. So I'm going here to Rabbit Miner. We'll get products. 
Rapid Miner Studio. It's just showing you all the different stuff that can be done. And I need to go to download. Again, I just need Rapid Miner Studio. It requires Java 8, which means you need to install Java. Which is really not that big of a deal. <clears throat> So if it needs Java 8, bring up terminal, sudo app-get install, open JDK-8, dash JRE. <clears throat> that's already installed, but this is what you would do. sudo app-get install, open JDK, Dash eight dash ERE. <clears throat> so I have that. What I would do is click here. <clears throat> Rapid Miner Studio would actually download. So you would download, you could bring up the file in a folder and then you would unzip it but I already have mine unzipped. and I'm just gonna to navigate to my downloads. <clears throat> and I would go to, so I'm gonna folder with contents. <clears throat> and now SH this file here, and then we enter and that file would actually run. Now I already have Rapid Miner uh, installed, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to bring up Rapid Miner. So I'm actually going to <clears throat> go out, or go up in a directory, two directories actually. And I'm going to CD. And I'm going to CD. And so now I'm running the file. <clears throat> and what this does, this will bring up the Rapid Miner. So in the other um, monitor, this item is coming up, the free product is showing that free uh, edition registered to myself. And once this comes up, I will just drag this over. All right, awesome. So it is done. So this is Raven Miner.
All right, so it's interesting. Once you actually have Rapid Miner up, instead of, there's a number of things or templates you can start with that do all types of neat analytics. I'm just going to close this item out. I'm going to go to Add Data and go to my desktop where I threw that particular data that I captured from Wireshark at. So I'm looking here. Here we got Network console. I'm going to go to Next. <clears throat> and you can see here that everything's already in the format that it needs to be. Number, time, source, destination, protocol, length, info. There's three warnings. I can see what these warnings are. <clears throat> this is here what these warnings are. I can choose to ignore them and stuff like that, but it tells me what the errors are. This is important if you're trying to do, um, you're trying to make sure that the data is not having any issues at all. You will have the ability to see what the errors are. Take the, uh, do not import this item, but fix it and then import the CSV or the text file correctly. I'm going to go to next. It's going to show me the columns and it's going to give me uh, what, if I want to replace the errors and missing values. I don't want to do that at all. But it will give me this type of interesting stuff. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to next. I'm going to go to finish. And what it's going to do is it's going to actually import the data into a local repository. And here, this is the issue with the um, only having the uh, commercial license with the free license. It just says it supports only up to 10,000 rows of data. And, you know, we didn't capture for a very long time, maybe two to five minutes, maybe five minutes max. But if you look at here, there's tons of data that was um, captured. So you have to use a tool like um, RStudio, or um, just R itself to actually go through and sift through the data. Um, <clears throat> we're just going to dip the charts real quick. And so here we can go to charts and we can see what we want to do. So we scatter chart. Uh, we can choose time along the um, y axis. So we can say y axis, we can do time. Or we can do protocol. So protocol can be broken out in terms of the source. And so it's interesting to see all these various items um, broken up. So we need destination. And so you can see like a lot of these items, you know, they fall in this over here. And it's pretty neat so you can see the destination over here. On the X axis and on the Y axis, you can uh, see the source. You can change the type of plot. So let's say we're going to look at a pie. <clears throat> so now we have a pie chart that's showing all these various items. So I'm going to group by source, but we actually want to group by protocol and see what is the protocol that is being, you know, that we use in those, you know, couple minutes. The majority of it TCP, eight. 8,107 uh, items. Uh, TLS V1.2, see second most. Then we're looking at DNS. No, actually not DNS. Okay, so it's DNS. Oh, this is the wrong one. So quick, so, and then it is UDP, then DNS, then, eight, then ARP. So it's interesting to see how all these items are shown right here. Again, you can group them by all types. So we can actually look at <clears throat> source. You can see where the bulk of the source is from. You look at destination. And then the other thing, you can look at all the items that are here. This is just info. So you can get information regarding um, which items are encrypted versus not encrypted, which is pretty interesting. So you can see, you know, how much of my traffic is actually encrypted. Uh, what's going over secure protocols, um, ports, and stuff like that. So all interesting items to see. But that is a quick and dirty on how to at least install Wireshark, capture a network uh, traffic analysis tool, and then you can import into any type of tool, whether it's Cytoscape, Giphy, RStudio, Rough Miner. Um, and then there's other tools that you can use to do a much more uh, detailed, I guess, look or you can say analysis of things.